Hi, fellow Scorps. Welcome, 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 Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising to your January 13th through the 19th forecast. We're going to see what's happening in the weekend with this lovely deck here. And then we're going to pull a uh, oracle spirit message from this oracle deck here. Alrighty, my darlings, let's see what's happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here is your Monday, Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, and your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. My dears, I am so sorry that the weekly forecast is so late getting posted this week. Uh, my fellow Scorpios, you may have had your butts kicked intensely by that wolf moon as did i i've been having a lot of physical release haven't been feeling well therefore the videos are late some of you might be feeling it too i am sorry okay monday tuesday we have five of cups some disappointment you're disappointed at how long these videos took this week i'm disappointed at how late i am getting them up um, five of Cups can definitely be something that we're looking back on and we feel some disappointment in the way something turned out. And if we're not careful, we're losing sight of what we still have, right? There's still these two cups here that are full. They haven't tipped over. But if you're still fo so focused on what's spilled, you know, you're, you're missing what you have and you're missing the point that you can pick these up, you can dust them off, and you can fill them up again with anything, really, the world's your oyster. The sky's the limit. You can uh, fill them with milk, with Kool-Aid, with beer, with water, whatever you want to fill them up with. You can fill them up with whatever you want. So if you're not careful, this uh, situation can be end up a, a missed opportunity. Now, when I see five of cups, though, however, and this is what I feel is happening for the majority of you Scorpios, Five of Cups is a card that sometimes comes up when, like, somebody is wanting to numb themselves. Like, they've had so many disappointments, they've had so many hurts, that they just, they just, they don't want to feel it. They don't want to feel it anymore. And because we had that full moon in Cancer bringing up all these heavy emotions, some of you might be feeling like, I don't want to feel. I don't want to feel. And you might be really tempted to kind of check out emotionally in some way. Like, you're just wanting to zone out, to veg out. Now... It can be happening in different ways. Some of you might be reaching for old vices or old crutches and drinking or food or sex or being a workaholic or whatever it might be. You might be escaping a situation that you need to address or that you need to allow yourself to feel. And the reason why you need to let yourself feel it is because this is how we release. And the reason why some people get really blocked and they can't manifest love or finances or whatever is because there's stuff that they haven't released, right? We hear that so much. It's such like a buzzword in the whole spiritual metaphysical community. Just release, you know, release. You need to release. Release what no longer serves you. You need to release. How do we release? We release by letting ourselves feel and express emotions. And some people think, oh, I can't do that because it's weak or it's negative or it's low vibrational. And it's none of those things. It's, it's, it just means you're human. And until you let yourself ride out those emotional waves and let them out, you're going to have the same cycles repeating. So the fact that Five of Cups is coming up, Spirit is giving you a heads up and saying, Hey, Scorpio, listen up. This is a crucial time. This is a super crucial time. And how you react over the next couple of days depends on if you're going to have a cycle repeat or if you're going to have a breakthrough and have something new come in. So as much as emotions might be intense, don't shut yourself off. Don't turn yourself off. Don't go on autopilot, okay? Even if you don't have anything major to worry about, like even if you don't have a drinking problem or a drug problem, don't numb yourself. Don't go to your go-to escape because if you do, then you might have a really, really big release later that's being forced or prodded or you might be re repeating a cycle you don't want to repeat. So I feel... Scorpio, that Five of Cups is coming up as like a heads up that, hey, you know, you, you want to pay attention. The next couple of days are going to be important. Make sure you're letting yourself feel. Make sure you're letting yourself release those emotions. You know, let yourself express those emotions. Cry, be mad, yell, whatever you have to do. Um, Wednesday, Thursday here, we have Nine of Wands. So, 
Um, some of you have felt these little eruptions since the eclipse, since the full moon. Maybe you let a couple of people have a piece of your mind. <laughs> Scorpios, no. Scorpio, never, right? Um, maybe some of you have, you know, you, you did a little bit of stinging over the weekend, but it was justified. Of course it was justified. Um, and so you might be finding that midweek there's some repercussions of that where somebody is like, well, okay, now you should say sorry or now you should take that back. But come on, guys, we know as Scorpios, we don't say anything we don't mean and we don't say anything that is not merited or justified. Um, there, there's a reason, right? And we don't just go around stinging for no reason. Like there's a lot of aggravation. There's a lot of pushing when a Scorpio stings. And so you're finding yourself having to defend your beliefs, okay? You're finding yourself having to stand by what you said. I don't feel assertiveness is going to be an issue for you guys, Scorpio. I feel it's just more, again, riding out that wave and allowing yourself to feel the uncomfortableness is uncomfortableness a word the uncomfortableness of that situation and just kind of stand by what you said and maybe you're going to present it to the person in a different way like you're not going to necessarily be argumentative you're not going to be like oh what okay well then let's fight let's throw down or oh okay well you know you know we're going to have we're going to you know we're going to you know have a war of words or whatever but just be in this energy where you're standing by what you said and you're explaining it you're explaining it in a calm way in a mature way you know i'm really sorry that what i said hurt your feelings i'm sorry about the way that i said it i'm sorry that maybe i snapped or i raised my voice but here's where i'm coming from here's why i'm hurt here's why i said that here's how the situation has been making me feel here's where i'm stressed out here's what i can no longer do right and so you're presenting to the person in the way of like you know you're more than welcome to, we can talk this about this and find a solution, but what's been happening and the way we've been dealing with it, we're not going to do anymore, right? You're making it clear in a very calm kind of way. Another thing with the nine of wands is that, um, you know, nine comes before 10 and 10 is a number of completion. So I feel whatever this conversation is, this is that really big shift to break out of the block to come into the next phase to where you're not repeating the cycle anymore. And for some of you Scorpios, this has to do with family or a relationship that you have tried to leave time and time again, but the universe keeps bringing you back. You moved out 10 times, you moved back in 10 times. You broke up 10 times, you reconciled 10 times, right? And you're just like, I just can't seem to shake this. But nine is telling me midweek, whatever is happening, if you don't numb yourself, if you let yourself have your feelings, if you stand by your feelings, if you defend your stance, if you allow yourself to speak up and to approach this in a calm, mature, logical way, this is it. This is like, this is it. You are going to be done, 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 done to where you're able to move out and not move back in. You're able to break up and not reconcile. You're able to say, I quit and leave that job and not go back when they call you a couple months later and say, Scorpio, are you happy at your new job? Don't you kind of miss us? Don't you want to come back? Like you're coming out of those cycles. Okay. Done, 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 done. No more of that boomerang nonsense. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, hey, 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 the sun card. Ooh, it just made me happy. <laughs> it made me happy. Um, so the sun card is coming up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Scorpio. Um, this also came up for Libra, but it came up for them in the beginning of their week. It came up for their Monday, Tuesday. So some of you may have Libra in your chart. So this is kind of like a confirmation for you. If you're Libra, uh, I was going to say sun, you're probably a Scorpio sun, the majority of you right now. But if you're a Libra moon or rising or Venus, then this is really kind of like a, a confirmation for you. Uh, but sun card is having to do with happiness, with success, 
uh, with freedom, you know, kind of breaking out of codependency, uh, success in your line of work, uh, receiving more attention, positive attention at that, recognition for what you've done. And some of you may be manifesting true love, okay? Some of you may be manifesting true love over the next six months, okay? Um, whatever this is happening, uh, and I'm going to be honest, Scorpio, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a Scorpio. I'm just saying, honestly, the vibe that I'm feeling from the card. I feel the sun card is applying to Scorpio in all areas and all ways, like full house, full on ten of cups, like happiness in your relationships, friendships, uh, true love, you know, success in your career recognition just all around all around so if you're able to own your feelings and own what came up in this eclipse and own the things that you said and all the little stinging that you did you know like kind of uh you know just kind of you know flicking uh flicking your your uh your waist here and flicking your waist there and stinging 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 um if you can own that and if you can have some real conversations with some people and really keep it real, but in, like I said, in, in a fair, logical, calm kind of way, you are coming into a freedom that you could only have dreamed. And Scorpio, I feel for some of you, you are finally going to be able to get out from under a very unfair burden or responsibility that's been placed on your shoulders. Maybe you've been handling a family situation, uh, uh, an expense or a caregiver situation or um, whatever it might be, like all on your own. You're like, what the heck? Like, you know, maybe you've got siblings that could be stepping in or maybe, um, you know, family could be stepping in or you know, whatever it might be. Like, why is this on my shoulders? Or in a work situation, you know, they've been putting everything on your shoulders and you're doing things that are like other people's jobs. And you're like, okay, well, if I'm going to do so-and-so's job, can I get their check too? You might not say it in that way, right? But as you're standing up and as you're producing facts in a respectful and calm way, they're going to realize that if they don't step up and if they don't make changes, they're really a big, big, you know, what hole. I can't say that. I don't want to get this uh, demonetized, but you know what I'm talking about, you know? So this is a time for change and just for freedom so that you can actually go and play for once, you know, just like play and be happy and have freedom and travel and take a vacation and, you know, you know, have time for romance and passion and all that wonderful stuff. Now, it is a major arcana card, so it's not something that's going to happen in one or two days. You're coming into a phase. You're coming into a period of time. And because we're in the eclipse energy, good chance this is going to be the next six months. And if, you know, we're going to have an energy follow us for six months, I can't think of a better card than the sun, right? So this is good. We, we've paid our dues, Scorpio. This is time. Things are shifting and coming into that happy, victorious energy. I'm also getting a sense of Archangel Uriel with this card. So if you're not too familiar with him, maybe look him up. I love to work with Archangel Uriel when I'm manifesting anything to overcome fears and accomplish things that maybe I'm a little overwhelmed or a little kind of like excited but nervous about taking on so projects things like this I love to work with Uriel um, if I'm trying to manifest money or improve financial situations Uriel has never let me down um, Archangel Uriel is the Archangel of light is the Archangel of success overcoming obstacles victory um, also uh of uh creativity ideas things of this nature and he's associated with the color orange so maybe you've been drawn towards orange or you've been seeing a lot of orange orange and yellow okay so just you know if, if you're into the archangels if you want to look that up please feel free to do so oh my goodness i'm babbling i haven't even pulled the oracle card yet i completely lost track I was about to end the video. Let's see what spirit message is coming up. And guys, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks they may resonate with you more than others. They could bring a little extra information. You may need a private reading. If that's the case, please feel free to click on the Calendly link in the description of the video and schedule a private reading there. 
And we have here na nurture. I was going to say nature. Nurture. See that? Nurture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I encourage you to look at this card and see what colors are jumping at, it, at you, which uh, pictures are jumping out of you and what those things mean to you this little crescent moon is the first thing that caught my eye so this makes me feel that coming into the next new moon phase you guys are going to be manifesting or we i should say we we're going to be manifesting a heck of a whole lot that new moon is going to be our new moon okay so if you haven't done anything for setting the intention for the new year yet or you know getting yourself in that mindset this next new moon coming up is going to be a really good time for that nurturing we talked about how like you're going to have to stand up for your beliefs you're going to have to stand up for your feelings this is one way that you can nurture yourself people always tell me amethyst you know that message comes up but i don't know how to nurture myself what does it mean to nurture myself making your feelings a priority standing up for your feelings speaking up doing things that allow you to rest that kind of allow you to pamper yourself a little bit physically maybe sleep in if you need to sleep in maybe get up early and spend some time alone away from all of the hustle and bustle especially if you live in a busy house right if if you are doing caregiver responsibilities if you are caring for children or if you are caring for aging parents or aging family members maybe you need to wake up a little bit early and spend some time with a nice hot cup of tea and meditating or praying or doing yoga or working out or just doing something that feels good that you're making time for you that you're give, giving yourself something good for your body um you know being patient with yourself um spending some time alone uh letting yourself decompress you know not taking on other people's problems or situations go get a massage go get a pedicure go get you know your nails done go get your hair done uh you know budget permitting you know whatever it might be um, it could be as simple as, like I said, just having a warm cup of tea and a good book or a cozy blanket or, you know, sleeping in a little bit. Just think about ways that you can do things that feel good for you. And this is over the next six months, what Spirit is wanting you to practice doing is nurturing yourself, nurturing yourself, doing things that feel good, um, you know, doing things that make you feel uh, rested, secure, comfortable, Pay attention to your comfort. Scorpio, we are so strong. We just had our butts handed to us with that last period of Saturn that lasted about 12 years up until um, Lion's Gate of two years ago, right? And even then, even when that Saturn cycle changed the last two years have really just been about finding ourselves and now that we're out of it sure we know we're strong sure we know we're resilient sure we know that we can keep pushing but that doesn't mean that we have to still be in that really hard energy and pushing ourselves so hard so over the next six months practice allowing yourself to be in comfort practice allowing yourself to nurture yourself to be gentle with yourself to be kind to yourself just because you can go through those desert drought conditions doesn't mean you got to keep on that mo doesn't mean that you got to keep operating in that way okay so practice being good to you all right scorpio uh, I know we didn't talk too much about love and romance here, but you can absolutely check out the January love readings linked in the description. You can check out the 2020 forecast as well, as well as the January angel messages. All of those are linked there in the description. Private readings also available in the description. If you guys want more cards, more tarot, more oracle, more stuff in between the weekly forecasts, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Amethyst Angelite. I post a message every single day. I post a pick a card every single day. So lots of cards coming at you in between the videos as well. Check that out if you would like to do so. Thank you so very much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Take care, my darlings.